Hello YouTube, how you all doing? I hope you all are doing great. We are today going to continue with Dying Light 2 Stay Human. Last time we entered the city and now we are going to get our biomarker. So we're going to meet up with uh, Mr. Hakon, our new favorite guy. Night exploration. At night, the city streets are teeming with infected. To stay safe, use the rooftops to travel. When on the street level, avoid howlers at all costs. If they see you, they will uh, alert other infected and start a chase. During a chase, be on the lookout for hiding spots on the rooftops or hide behind beams of UV lights. Got it. That's great. Keep to Perfect. the roofs, because if the howler spots you... Yeah, I know. Don't want to go up against any of those anytime soon. Ooh. Once I was taking my second wife to the hospital. Never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke three months early. You have kids? There was no saving that one. Oh. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. What normal yeah. person would want his kids to see a world like this? Oh. Uh, no one, I guess. No one. The lock is broken. Don't worry. Find the old bus. A bus? At zero hour, a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. You can use it to get inside. Since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. Oh, there's some people here. Oh, there's some nice ones here. Okay, just... They didn't see me. Oh, they didn't see me. Oh, someone saw me. Get the fuck in there. Hurry. I'm at the main entrance. I marked a safe route for you. I'm waiting by the lobby. Oh my god, they were on their way in. Holy shit. Okay, let's go. Oh, there you are. Hello. This way. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, uh... GRE took over quite a few of these for drug research. When it all got fucked, they grabbed research volunteers. They paid them lots of money. What was the result? A lot of shit. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Oh shit. Just a little more. We don't have much time. Stay close to me. Sure. Stay uh, <clears throat> close to you. Excuse me. Pick up everything you see. <sighs> Door's locked. Yeah, let me have a look at that. You know how to open locks? Yes. It's sure. Turn the key. <sighs> what if you don't have a key? I can't. I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I think this room should have all the instruments you need, Maestro. I found some scrap. You can make lockpicks out of that. Ooh, lockpicks. You know what? Let's make one more of this. Having three is better than two. Uh, let's see. Two, four, six, eight. You know, ten is a nice number. Ah, good work. Lock picking. Use lock picks to open uh, locked doors and containers. Lock picks can be easily uh, crafted from scraps, so make sure you craft them frequently. To pick a lock, you need to find the correct position for the upper pick. So, to test the upper pick's position, move the lower pick. Uh, the further you are from the correct spot, the more resistance you'll feel. Know all about this. We've, we've done this before. <clears throat> Oh, there we go. See, I'm a fucking professional. Huh? You didn't lie. You know your stuff. I had no other choice. Was forced to know my stuff. Okay, rude much? Listen, we don't need to be rude, Aiden. Hakon is just being nice. He's helping us here. <sighs> oh, what the hell? All right, let's go. Hippity hop hop. 
Is there anything here? Anything here? Ooh, there's some stuff here. Let's pick it up. I'll be right there with you. Flowers. Oh, there's something over there. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just don't leave me. This place is creeping me out. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, he went up. <laughs> a little bit annoying is that you have to be in a perfect position to pick up things. <laughs> That's a little bit out. <laughs> Icky. <laughs> oh, no. Aiden. Aiden. <laughs> Come on, Aiden. Get up. <clears throat> oh, some help. Here you go. That won't work. Shh, let's go. This way. Dark zone in front of us. Keep quiet. Ooh, dark zones. That doesn't sound good. Everything okay? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? God. Talk to me. Um. This hospital. Tell the truth. I've been in one like this before. A GRE facility. Well, there are a few of them around the city. I'm having these... these memories. The person I'm looking for is Mia. She's my sister. I told you about Waltz before. <laughs> Mentioned something. Yeah. I don't know. It's all mixed up in my head. Uh, you suppressed the memory. Like I did of my third wife. <laughs> Look, I'm sure the infection ain't helping. Chin up. We'll find the marker and clear out. Let's go. This guy's funny. I like this guy. <laughs> he's yeah, funny. Oh, he's funny. Oh. <gasps> don't tell me we're going down there. Just say no, we're not going down there. Just say no. Just say no. That makes it a lot that like let that makes it uh, me feel a lot more comfortable. Oh no, we're going down. Oh no. No. Hack on, I like you and everything, but come on, this is not funny. Oh, shit. Sleeping beauties. Yeah, we have to walk past them. What? If you crouch and move slowly, they shouldn't notice you. 
Are you too close? And you're done for. Are you kidding me? You probably know that already. I do, yeah. You're not even kidding. What the actual... Oh my god. I'm stuck. I... Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Shh. Don't make any sounds, dude. Quiet. Oh my. Get down there. Oh no. No, there's no one here. Uh Oh shit. Can we... Oh. Oh shit, no. Okay. 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 Straight line. One, two, go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get under there. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. What is that? Chemicals. Nasty shit. When they lost control of the virus, the GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh? <clears throat> mm hmm. That one. So, this guy you told me about, what was his name? Waltz? Yes. Why did you mention him? Because I remember he was doing some kind of experiments. <sighs> he wasn't the only one doing them. There were more cities like Villador, with walls cut off from the rest of the world. Many people were working toward a vaccine, Aiden. But, well, the world is full of shitheads. So, is that the box? Is that the box that we need? Probably is. Are we going down? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, we're going down. All right. Careful, it's not stable. You want me to jump? I get Come on. I I something bad's gonna happen when I jump on that. I'm gonna be too fucking heavy. Just like in real life. Just wait. Yeah, there we go. Just jump, just jump, go for it. Don't no slowly, just jump. Yeah, too slow. Too slow, and now we woke up the whole family. That's great. Or maybe we woke up the dad. You know. You alive? Yeah, I'm alive. I guess so. Thumbs up and everything. Still breathing. Can you climb up? Sure. Just give me a sec. You Harry, should. We're running out of time. Sir, you should know I don't have the stamina for that. You should already know that. Look, we're not even gonna get, we're just gonna yeah. get here. I can't make it. Wait, I've got an idea. 
Remember the cocktail I served you earlier at the girls' workshop? Neighbors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength. GRE access key is a highly sophisticated encryption tool that can unlock special doors and chests marked with a G GRE logo. Uh, additionally, it can also be used to discover hidden inhibitor containers. Uh, the key activates automatically when you're close to an inhibitor container, revealing the distance to its location. When close to a hidden inhibitor container, uh, use survival sensor to use uh, to sense and highlight its location. Perfect. Here we go. Let's go and suffer, shall we? <laughs> Oh my god. We got company. A volatile. Don't move. You can handle that. I know. I've seen this fucker. Oh my god. I was holding my breath. Oh my god. <sighs> I ran off. Try to go around it somehow. Oh my god. Loving the atmosphere of this game, it actually makes you hold your breath. I Oh wow. Please don't get out of the vent. That'd be great. Just Oh shit. So we hound field. We should be level two to four. Is that what it means? Oh, that's it, isn't it? That's a container, but we have to go all the way around, don't we? Oh, that's great. Wasn't there one moving here? Oh, there it is. Oh. No, there's no need to... Smell me. He's literally looking right at me. How can you not spot me? No. Oh, wow. Go, fucking go. Ooh. Aiden, hurry. If that infected finds you, you're dead. No shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like right on top of us. I don't like it. I'm not a fucking fan. Not a fan. Absolutely not a fan. Oh my god. Okay. Let's just fucking go. He won't. Besides, you'd have to catch us too. Come on, don't back out now. <laughs> yeah, kick the door open. Kick the door open because no one's gonna hear that. Great job, Aiden. You definitely didn't wake up a whole family now. 
Don't be a close. chicken, Eddie. Close the door. Well, it looks like they're still asleep, so... Thanks for that. Thank you, lady. I know there's a container nearby. I'm just gonna pick up step first, lady, and I'll be all over that container. Okay, is there anything else? I don't think there is. Open it. There we go. Inhibitors are the only way to increase your maximum stamina and health. Increasing those attributes to import is important as it unlocks access to some of your skills. Each upgrade requires three inhibitors. If you find them, go to the skills menu to level up your stats. Inhibitors can be found in GRE's cr crates hidden inside GRE quarantines and GRE anomaly locations. Additional crates can also be discovered while exploring all of the beaten paths. So we're going to go with stamina, of course. Immunity, five minutes. Five minutes and 11 seconds. Immunity allows you to remain in darkness for longer periods of time. Okay. What's up? I took the inhibitor. Fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I'm waiting. <sighs> All right, let's go, Aiden. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Open the fucking door and get the fuck out. Hello. I'll rob my man. Hack on. Oh, climb up. <clears throat> hurry, hurry, hurry. There we go. Oh, Hack yeah. On. Anything here? There is. I want to collect everything before I go get the um, go and get the marker. Obviously, there's certain, I can't go everywhere in this place because this is basically just an introduction to places like this, I guess. So there's lot everywhere we can go. And also, we are pretty much underleveled for this area because we are level one. Quick, it will be done soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were gone a while. How are you feeling? I'm infected, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? About that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. You're about to turn. Get into the light fast. What? Run. Oh shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, what? What? We got no time for this? Oh no, 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 no. Absolutely not. No way, handsome. I'm going to die. I don't have time for you. Let's go. Oh. Oh, run for the door. Oh. 
That was close. Oh, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? <laughs> I never wanted to become a Pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. Roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I don't know, live somewhere quiet that's not this place? <laughs> I'll find some place for us to live. You know, some place quiet. Gotta settle down somewhere now that I'm infected. Where will you go? Any place is better than this city. <laughs> well, that's a pretty low bar. I'll find a place where people aren't afraid of pilgrims. Aren't afraid of me. It'd be nice not to have to run and hide for a while. I always wanted to catch fish. <sighs> fish are good. Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't <laughs> laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me, right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? You know what? That sounds like a deal to me. Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret this, Aiden. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. We're gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. We're gonna talk to Hakon. Gonna check something real quick. All right, let's go. Here. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. All right. Binoculars. They will come in handy. Binoculars allow you to discover important open world locations. Uh, watch your reticle in the center of the screen closely. It gets smaller the closer to it, it is to a location that can be discovered. Locations discovered by binoculars are automatically added to your map. That is great. Uh, here we go. What? I heard a click. Oh. Oh. You see the church? church? That's where the howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. There we go. Uh-huh. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. All right, see you later, dude. Let's see if we can discover some more. If I can just move, that'd be great. I can't move. Oh, you unlock the open world uh, zoom level of your map. Of your map. That, that sentence, you've unlocked the open world zoom level of your map. Okay. All open world activities you discover using the binoculars are during exploration will be visible here. Perfect. 
Uh, you have now unlocked the open world of Villador. Your first goal is to visit the survival hub, the bazaar. You'll find a merchant a resting place and your stash there. Use your binoculars and survey the area to reveal additional locations on the map like windmills, which activates a new save zone. There are plenty of places like this, these in the city waiting for you to discover them. As you explore the world, watch your compass for encounters. They offer you a chance to help some of the little citizen in exchange for experience and various rewards. Perfect. I'm trying to, like... Oh. It's a little bit difficult to hit because he moves on his own. It's not easy to find... Oh, there we go. Night Runner Hideout. That means there's a safe zone. Oh. It's right here somewhere. Oh. Come on. No, stop moving. Why are you moving? Stop it! <laughs> oh my god! He's moving on his own, it's so annoying! Are you serious? And there's no way to hold your breath either. Come on. I'm gonna give up. If we, if we don't get this, I'm gonna give up. Oh, that was almost it! Why? Why? This is so fucking annoying. <laughs> this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen, seriously. That's stupid. That's a little bit stupid. Okay, that one worked. And then there's this little thing that's... Yeah, this one doesn't want to anymore. But okay. We, we got it a little bit. So I guess we are literally heading to the bazaar. What is this? Ooh, if I check the map. Okay, so we just go. We discovered a few things around here. I mean, we could check out this place. Maybe we could um, activate it. Let's see if we can activate that one. It's right over here. <coughs> What? Help who? So we gotta climb it, huh? Uh, how do we do that? How do we do that? Oh shit! Okay. Oh! 
Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, careful. Careful now. You better grab that. Thank you. Wow. That was it. I guess those are survivors. Oh, nice. That looks cool. That's cool. Activation of, uh, activating a windmill creates safe zones around it, which provides a resting place protected by UV light. An active windmill enables nearby abandoned structures to become faction structures. These buildings will contain merchants as well as offer new quests, challenges, and an additional source of UV light at night. The nature of the faction structure depends on who controls the surrounding area. If you have not already, you must assign the zone's facility to either a peacekeeper or survivors. This will determine the people and quests you'll find in it. Ooh, nice. So let's head to the bazaar. I guess we can do that. She's seeing a peacekeeper. Her parents are gonna flip. Thanks, Aiden. It's nice to have a safe spot in the middle of this chaos. How do you already know my name? Oh. 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 Never out of stock. Great, my man. Oh, yeah, we're going this way now. Whoa. Uh, what is the best way to go? Probably this way. There we go. Okay, we're heading in the right direction. How about we go this way? Whoop! Sometimes I wonder. Okay, we discovered something. Someone's having a bad day. I mean, enter this place to help someone. Is it far away? Does it come up? It does not pop out on the map, though. What are those? Oh, they're trading posts. Rooftop school. A school? Really? Let's just quickly just check out this. Leave me alone. What's that? I didn't do it. Yeah. I didn't do it. Yeah. 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 motherfucker. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of you. Ha 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 Your friend is dead. Now what are you gonna do? Oh, kick in the face! I got something for you. Oh, we can put him as that. <laughs> One bitch. You want to play? Come on. <laughs> Miss me. What the hell? That was some smooth move. Oh yeah? Come on. <laughs> oh, <mother. laughs> oh, nailed it. Hold on, I'm just gonna... You had nothing? Wow. And we got a parkour. Can I, uh... They almost killed me. You deserve this. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Stay safe. 
Okay, that was kind of fun. Bear it wild. Okay. Bear it wildly. Open. So are these the walls? Let's see what he talks about. Things are getting. Here we are at the bazaar. The people who try to kill us. <laughs> hey, watch where you're going. What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Five years of learning and all the numbers. Money. Easy money. I just hear how to get it right this time. Come on, I won't bite through. Are there people we gotta talk to? Barney Hey, hangman. How's the neck? Very funny. Very funny. Let me tell you something. If I were you, then I'd have wished for them to end me. Would you rather have needless deaths on your conscience? I wish you didn't hang the innocent here. Well, it all worked out, didn't it, Pilgrim? You didn't kill anyone, and you're free. Win-win. I mean... Who is Barney? Everyone knows Barney here. I don't. Tell me. Well, I wouldn't bother yourself about Barney. He doesn't like nosy people. Liable to piss him off if he finds out. Hey, you don't want that kind of trouble. Well, no, I definitely want to know more. Okay. He's Sophie's younger brother. Some say he's crazy, but he's a pillar of the bazaar. The PKs are afraid of him, and they should be. Barney is no one to fuck with. Good to know. Don't fuck with Barney. Got it. Yeah, pilgrim, aren't you? Yeah. That's right. Do you hang people for that too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Yeah, uh huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. <laughs> that to be some. Sure. Anyone else I can talk to? Oh, there we go. Five years of learning and all. You look familiar. Yeah, I'm the guy who almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me? Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. But they would have killed me anyways. They wouldn't be able to do that. Right? I see. It was a risky situation. I get it. So? We good? Sure. We're good. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to be assholes, right? We can, we can uh, reply nicely. Come on, I won't bite. Who are you? You look like someone in need of the best. I don't know about that. Craftmasters allows you to buy an upgraded blue... Buy and upgrade blueprints. Upgrading blueprints makes the item you create from them more powerful. To upgrade a blueprint, bring the requirement the required items to a craftmaster and exchange them for a blueprint upgrade. Items used for blueprint upgrades can be looted from special infected, which are easier to find at night and are marked on your map with a, a blue light on. Okay, what you got? UV bar. Okay. We don't have arrows yet, though. Okay. And we can upgrade, uh, upgrading this would be nice though, right? Let's upgrade this. Yeah. What do we need? We need infected trophy uncommon. Okay. And here we also, yeah. Thank you, sir. Hello? Merchants allow you to buy craft parts, new weapons, and other items, as well as sell valuables and unwanted uh, loot that you collect. They offer the most powerful weapons, so visit them often to increase your combat strength. 
You can find merchants in all of the main hubs, as well as inside assignment facilities and settlements. That's nice. Oh yeah, you got some nice weapons. Ooh, katana. I can sell my stuff though. Heck yeah. I want a katana. Yeah, I want a katana. Give me. Hey, <laughs> Neck gator. What in the actual? What is that? We're probably gonna find some outfits around in the world, so we don't really need to worry about buying any of that. Pilgrim, heard you are the curious type. Explore streets and build. Okay, okay. Sorry to hear that. Come here. Every time I see you. I don't think there's much more I can do in here. I mean we talk to everyone except for the cyclist people. And all for nothing. I just And I I really would just want to focus on the story. But I guess maybe we can check out the wall. Yeah, we can. Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners. The search always ends the same. Yeah, those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash, others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old. And it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes. Swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there. Those psychos from the GRE. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. 
Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. All right. That's depressing. I guess we could, like, accept Man. these, uh, things. Side quests, and just have them there, and I can do them on my own if I want to. I just... What's the problem? Hey! Aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, yeah. you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then, I hit it. Our goats, they're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. Oh, wow. Uh, so I'm not what gonna, seems to be the problem yeah. with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case, you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Oh, we already have the parts. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic. Heaven must have sent you. Yeah, here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen then, near the wall. Um. Okay, we can track this. this. I don't. I think I have a feeling this is gonna be a bad idea. Something bad's gonna happen. I just feel it. Yeah. Some. Yeah. Yeah. Something bad happened. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop to the PK's restricted access. How can it be? Oh my god, what, what what did you do? Everything all right? No, it's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon. 
It could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to silence. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, a... Uh, a... a... Uh, Craftmaster? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my Craftmaster workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. All right, uh, poor goat, let's, um... Uh... Uh, so, modifications. To install a weapon mod, you need to have a blueprint for it. Any required craft parts can... Craft parts and the right weapon. Check the number of mod slots uh, on the weapon icon. The best weapons have three slots available. Grip, shaft, and tip. Different mods fit into different slots. Uh, okay. Okay, um, make sure to say a pray to the goats in the comments below. I think the goat will appreciate that. <laughs> oh my god, poor goat. Seriously. What should we do now? I mean, there was one more guy we could talk to. But I think it's, I think it's a nice place to end the video here. I really do. So, we're gonna end the video right here by the entrance to this beautiful, beautiful church. Uh, right here. So I'm gonna thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Give me some feedback. Uh, let me know if you play this game. Uh, tell me what you think of the game. Uh, and uh, yeah, you all stay safe. Take care of yourself. And I hope I catch you in the next one. <coughs> bye bye. <laughs>